Let's cover some tips for keeping the water heater in proper working order. First, how often do you need to drain the tank style water heater? Some RVers empty the tank after every trip. However, most do it when either sanitizing or during the winterization process. To drain the water heater, you will want to start by depressurizing the tank and cooling the water that is inside. The quickest way to do this is by turning the water heater power switch to the off position, opening a hot water faucet handle inside the RV and letting water flow until it turns cool, indicating that hot water in the tank has been replaced with cold water. Next, turn off the city water connection and or the water pump, whichever is going. Next, you'll release the pressure inside the tank by opening the PNT valve, allowing water and air to escape. Once the pressure has been released, you will simply remove the drain plug using a proper size wrench for your water heater. During this process, water will come pouring out and drain down the side of the RV. This is normal. You will notice that when you remove the Dometic Atwood drain plug that it is plastic. If you ever need to replace this plug, do it with the same type and don't introduce a brass plug to this aluminum tank. Rust will take hold and you might never get it out again. The Suburban drain plug is called an anode rod. These act as a sacrificial rod that will take the hit from elements in the water that might otherwise corrode the interior of the tank. Check the anode rod anytime you drain the tank and change it out when 50% more is missing. Do a visual inspection of the outdoor water heater compartment on each trip. Wasps, spiders, and other insects are attracted to the smell of the additive in propane. Clear out any spider webs or debris. Over time, calcium will build up inside the steel tank. Drain and clean the tank at least once per year or more frequently if you are a full timer. To protect the tank and the heating element, never operate the water heater without water in the tank. If you are concerned that there might not be water in the tank, double check that the bypass valves are in the normal use position. You can also do a light touch of the P and T valve in the exterior compartment to see if it is warm to the touch. If it is warm, there is water on the other side of it. P and T valve stands for pressure and temperature relief. It's a safety feature for the appliance to protect against exactly that, internal pressure or temperatures that exceed safe levels. To avoid injury, never open this valve when the water heater is pressurized. If your water heater is powered by both propane and electric, but it is not working on all sources, start with the basics. Is there propane in your tanks and are the valves opened? Is the battery fully charged so it operates the igniter for propane mode? Is the rig plugged into shore power and is the breaker turned on at the pedestal? The home study course covers the water heater in depth, including cleaning and sanitization, winterization, and even more troubleshooting tips.